I mean, this game is, it, it's, it's really everything, you know. Uh, I mean, I've been thinking about it all day and, and really all week, well, the last couple of days, especially now that we just got done with our last uh, victory. But, uh, I mean, wh whatever you do in this game is immortalized forever, you know. I mean, if you if you go for three touchdowns or, or, or you, you have however many tackles or you have however many sacks, everybody's going to remember this for really forever. So, you know, th th this game, is just it means a lot to us, and, and, it, and it means even more to us seniors. It's a different week too. You walk around, the M's are blocked out. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, it just it, what's this week like with with all that stuff? I mean, there's there's obviously a lot of stuff going on on campus, and 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 it's, and on, at times it's hard to stay focused. But I mean, it's it, it just goes to show you how how much the the fans and the students have our backs. You know, we're I'm, I just went to class and I'm walking in my building and I don't see any M's on on any of the building names or any of the signs or anything. I mean, it just kind of goes to show the severity of, uh, I guess, our hatred for them. But that's here. Urban's, I guess Urban's ordered all that. Mm -hmm. here. Yeah, so, I mean, it's uh, it's it's universal throughout the entire campus. Kevin, they're having a tough year, obviously, and, and five and six. And, but is there anything that you could ever imagine that would make this game anything but a huge one? Uh, you asked that one more time? Is there anything Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's, 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 it's definitely tough with them have not having the season. Obviously, that they wanted to, but you know, we know every time we go into this game, we are going to get their absolute best. I mean, whatever we watch on film, we're going to see ten times better effort. You know, I mean, they got good players, and obviously, they haven't put it together that well this year. But I mean, when we go out there, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be one of the toughest, if not the most physical game that we will play, just because of the rivalry, because of the 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 animosity for each other you know what i mean so it's just it's it's difficult to watch film because you know when you play them it's going to be a complete different attitude uh, uh and, and and really just kind of like a, a feel for the game that pressure that you talked about that goes with this game earlier how do you make sure that that brings out the best in your game as opposed to the worst i mean that kind of goes to show, or that kind of goes with um really all the games i mean all, all all the games it's it's really about how you can uh handle that pressure and then and then turn that into your own personal success or your own uh success as a team so i mean it's just it's just a um uh, a, a way to manage the pressure and and turn it in for a good thing for you i guess what happens to you the first time you see him come out to the field those helmets that uniform I mean, what what goes on in your head well personally i've uh like you said earlier i've grown to not like them very much ever since birth, you know. So every time I see, every time I hear that fight song, every time I see those damn helmets, I just not great feelings come up. I guess anger, a little bit, but uh, at least I get to get all that out um, for the last time this Saturday. Why do you not like them so much, though? What is the except that you know you've been raised that way and told to not like them? Mm -hmm. What is it that you don't like about them? I mean everything, really. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't really put one thing on. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Does it take a little bit of the, uh, the fact that you guys know that after this game you're going to the Big Ten championship game? Does that make this week almost a little bit easier for you guys to, to prepare for this game? Uh, I don't know if it makes it easier. I mean, we we know that we got to prepare as well as we have for any game. You know, I mean, like I said earlier, they're going to come out and give us their best swing, so we got to be able to be able to take it and then give ours back you know what I'm saying so I I mean I obviously feel that that if we, if we go out there and, and do what we need to do it, it'll definitely work bode well for us but on the same token I mean it's and they got good players you know they're a tough football team and we're going to see all of that this Saturday. At the beginning of the year Irvin said that you guys needed to find 100 yards of offense losing Braxton you needed to find 100 yards of offense are you surprised that JT alone has made up for what uh, what, what Braxton and what you lost in Braxton? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say surprised because I mean we we went through we went through camp with him all year, you know. I mean, or all summer, and and working out with him in in the spring, and and we we all just kind of got got comfortable with him. We knew how he played. We knew what he was good at. And and then once we got to the season, it was just a matter of getting experience together. And now that we've all been doing well together, we've been thriving as an offense, and and we've been succeeding as a team. It just it just I guess our our confidence was always there. We just kind of needed to go to battle together in order for 
for everybody else to see it. Is there anything about his game that surprised you, though? His <laughs> running ability or his ability to make plays with his feet. Is there anything about his game that has a, sort of surprised you? Uh, no, I mean, we, we all knew he was a, a, a dynamic quarterback, a dynamic threat. I mean, uh, play specifically, I, I guess I was a little surprised that he broke that one uh, <laughs> in Minnesota. I definitely thought he may have gotten caught, but I'm not going to talk about JT sp speed because yeah. I love the kid to death, but uh, we got to laugh about it later on, I guess. But not, nothing about his game really surprised me. I knew he was a, a warrior. I knew he was going to compete, and I knew that he really cared about this team, this university. What do you have to say to him, you think, Saturday, if at all, uh, one word of advice to calm him down or uh, – Maybe even psych him up a little bit. Sometimes he seems pretty placid. Mm -hmm. what, what do you, what would be your advice to him going into this game? I mean, this, like I said earlier, this this will, this is the biggest game this season every year, no matter what, because of the way that we play each other, the way the the way, like the how hard the hits are, you know, uh, uh, just just how important that every play is in this game because it is so important to us. It is so important to our history and it is so important to our, our personal season success. And I just say, just kind of calm down and, 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 and do what we do. You know, we've been put, we've been placed in pressure situations and we've succeeded all year. So, I mean, it, there, there's nothing out of the ordinary that we need to do, do nothing extraordinary. We just need to go out and do us. To be considered one of the great quarterbacks in high state history, do you have to beat Michigan? Absolutely. Yeah, sometime. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Why do you say that? I mean, it's just that that that's how everybody is defined at Ohio State. I mean, you you think of, oh yeah, well we we did this this year, we did that that year, and then the the final question is always, well, what was your record against them? You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, I think that's kind of like a defining, especially at this university, a defining um, characteristic of a player. Evan, with everything they've been put through, with they, what they've been through this year, at five and six, they need to beat you guys to get bowl eligible mm -hmm. and the whole stuff with Brady up that's going on up there. How desperate do you think they will be coming in here Saturday? I mean, they're going they're going to come out swinging. I I mean, I I I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you that. I mean, I watched them all year and 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 uh I mean, they're they're a good football team. They got athletes and 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 they got mismatch problems for 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 um everybody that they play. But at the same time, I mean, I I, I like our checkers better than theirs and uh and we're going to match or surpass their toughness and uh, go out and handle the business that we got to take care of. Kevin, yeah, you guys have had issues with turnovers the last couple of weeks. Pulling one off your hands. I mean, is it hard to, I mean, it's easy to say, well, eliminate turnovers. You can't do that. I mean, how, is there an extra focus? What do you, how do you try to eliminate? I mean, we just got to place a, a, a big emphasis on it uh, this weekend. I mean, and we have the last two weeks ever since that it's kind of become an issue, and, and, and we're going to get it fixed, you know. Um, me personally, I'm, I'm I'm gonna do whatever I can to make sure I get it fixed, and then I'm I'm gonna just try to permeate through, permeate that through the rest of the team. Like, hey, this is, this is. We're, I mean, we're shooting ourselves in the foot most of the time. I mean, more often than not, we're we're uh, stopping ourselves in drives as opposed to them stopping us. If that makes sense. So we just gotta we we gotta eliminate that because we know that we're a great offense, and without these turnovers, it'll be I mean even better. Can you see how many different ways Jalen gets the ball in terms of. From that back position, you almost wish you got to play that position as well. Yeah, but I mean, I also like the position I'm at. You know, I, I, I get to do some things that he doesn't get to do. I mean, uh, but I mean, yeah, there, there's there's a lot of cool things that the uh, that our age gets to do, and and uh, I think that he suits everything that we ask him to do there very well. I mean, he's a strong kid, he's fast, and and, and he can do anything that you ask him to do. Who would have the harsher punishment for you for using the word Michigan? Your dad or Urban? <laughs> Coach Meyer, definitely. <laughs> I mean, we, uh, me, me and my dad, obviously, we don't, don't think too fondly of them, but, uh, uh, I think Coach Meyer would have a, maybe a hand up on that one. What's the punishment? Is he Coach Iyer this week, by the way? Is he Coach Iyer? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess if you want to, I guess if you want to think about it like that. What is the punishment if you say that word? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure the conversation that you'd get following wouldn't be too uh, comfortable. <laughs> and I'm sure in the weight room there'd probably be some kind of physical punishment or something, or whether it's push-ups or whatever. But uh, I'm just going to avoid it at all costs, so I'm going to have to find out. <laughs> How has your view of this rivalry changed since playing it? It, it definitely gives me a different perspective. Uh, growing up, just watching it on TV, obviously it was it, it, it was never really... Like I, I never really liked them very much, and 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 I'm sure they they felt the same towards us. So, I mean, I went up there a couple of times as a young kid, and just 
I mean, I don't, I don't like the place. I'm glad I don't have to go to Ann, back to Ann Arbor, and I don't plan on ever going back. And um, uh, I, I'm gonna do whatever I can to to beat them up pretty good this week, and uh, and go out three and one against them.